right, today we got this super cool old school kind of space racy 50s, 60s type shop chair I got from Jim Jesse's estate. He's a uh, old saddle maker at Norco. Uh, got the desk and my giant tooling stone from his estate as well. Um, so we're jumping in, taking this bad boy apart. May or may not have gotten some asbestos poisoning. Um, cleaned up the metal. I didn't want to shine it up too much. I didn't want it to look brand new, brand new. I want to leave a little bit of that patina on there. Made all the patterns, tracing them out, cutting straight. Really got to go slow around those radiuses. And then you can see on my straight lines, I could drag them a little bit quicker. But we've got the pieces all done. We cleaned up the wheels. I took all the thread and the gunk and stuff, oiled them all back up put them back on give it a little test here we got ourselves a wheelie boy in the house rolls real nice then we moved on to the tooling I wish I almost uh, recorded drawing it a little bit but it's cool um, I went with my favorite flowers uh, and floral style to do which is big old obnoxious roses as you could see um, once I started doing them I just really enjoyed doing more of them my customers seem to love it and I think it's really unique. I think it's really cool. I don't really see too many people tool roses like this, um, especially on like traditional Western stuff. I threw a little bit of traditional um, Western tooling flowers. Like you can kind of see them, they're in there hidden a little bit. And we're gonna move them on to the sewing machine. This is my old, old singer. I got a Cobra now, but this machine was like literally a hundred years old built to sew canvas and it really got me through my early years. Boom, then we're moving on to upholstering the bottom. Um, I really kind of didn't know what I was doing here at first, but I'm really glad I did it the way I did it. I kind of made too much material and trimmed it down. As you can see, it kind of sandwiches in there nicely once we put that base plate on. And then uh, time for final assembly. Boom! Shaka laka. All right, drum roll, folks. Boom. Ta da! I decided to give it some color. Obviously, the roses I had wanted to do a nice deep red color, threw a little bit of green on those leaves to kind of break up all that fine work and then I threw some blue flowers in there. Blue's my favorite color. Um, I kind of did a cool little baby blue whitewash deal with it. But uh, there you go. I had to set a, a nut or a set screw down at the bottom so it wasn't so wobbly, but this thing sits in my shop every day. My customers come in and sit on it. So if you're ever in Southern California and want to stop by the studio, feel free to sit your behind in this beauty. Thank you guys for watching, checking out the process a little bit. Hopefully, gonna do some more videos like this on some other real unique projects.